Hi everyone, welcome back to Comic Dolls uh, for this new video that I did not necessarily plan to do but um, considering all the reactions I got uh, from my first video last week um, I thought it would be nice to um, respond to all the questions, clarify things, uh, give more details, show examples um, just so you know things are clear um, before we get started um, we're doing all this I just want to like say thank you to the hundreds of positive messages I've received um, whether personally or in comment sections on various uh, you know social platform media platform um, I received tons of messages from individuals, from other YouTubers, um, from content creators, um, collectors, obviously. So just like, thank you so much. Uh, I did not expect all this to blow up that much. Um, it went a bit, you know, out of control in a way. I I did not expect um, to have such a big. Um, exposure, um, especially for a first video with zero subscriber, literally. Um, thank you to everyone who subscribed. Um, I just realized, you know, in the previous video, I did not even say, uh, <laughs> you know, it's in the usual drill, you know, subscribe, drop a like, things like this. Um, I'm still learning, uh, you know, how to run those things. So, for everyone who did it. Um, without even you know asking, thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot to me. It means that you know the content I create is interesting, um, and that it can hopefully open up um, debates, discussions. And for some videos, it will just be you know, you I hope you enjoy them, and you are, and I hope you will have um, some fun watching them. Okay, so uh, that was just the. <laughs> little uh, summary of what happened in the last week um, let's jump into the questions you've sent me uh, I received tons of questions directly indirectly um, so I'm gonna try to summarize everything and reply to you in full transparency so one of the first question I um, one of the first questions I received is do I dislike this CBCS do I hate CBCS? Um, am I a CGC fan? Something like this. Um, so my answer to that is clearly... No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. No. Absolutely not. Um, I think CBCS is necessary, it's a necessity. Um, it would not be a good world if we only had a CGC to submit uh, books for grading. Um, I think monopole is dangerous and CBCS is a necessity as long as the grading scales um, are equal between the companies and there is consensus between them. Um, I have no problem at all with CBCS and I would even add to that that um, recently I've seen a lot of quality control issues at CGC and I, be, I haven't seen them in CBCS um, whether it's from my fellow collectors or myself and the second thing is I think the slab itself the latest slab uh, from CBCS I just nice like they look really nice i don't know it just feels so clear i think it's slightly thinner um i don't know i just they just feel a bit nicer and um way more rock solid i don't know how you say like nothing moves when the shiji phone if you really shake it you can see sometimes a little you know a little move um so yeah i really like uh cbcs uh grading so that was not really what it was about last week. It was not um, about you know hating on CBCS. It was purely on a specific service they do provide, 
which I believe um, is somewhat problematic and I'm gonna talk obviously about it um, in details in the next questions. So as a follow-up to this, I received a lot of uh, questions and um, some, yeah, a lot of people discussed and I was reading some of those discussions without even, you know, necessarily interacting, but like a bunch of people thought um, I work for CGC, I don't, <laughs> I do not work for CGC, um, I am an um, investor in CGC or I have Blackstone. Um, you know, stocks, and I want them to do well. This is not the case at all. Um, I'm not a friend with Jay-Z, uh, who's one of the investors in, in Blackstone. Um, I wish, <laughs> but he did not give me a call to do this video uh, to, you know, throw shades on the competitors. Um, I have absolutely no um, interest in having um, CBCS reputation, uh, you know, dragged in the mud. So it was not, again, uh, what it was about. Um, so one of the next thing I've um, seen is a lot of people think this, the face signature, you know, I, I did in the previous video, is actually really well made. Uh, and is really, really good, and that uh, no human could have uh, detected it was a forgery. So, I don't think so. So I'm gonna show here, you know, comparisons of various signatures. And I think um, you can all see the first loop, the little first loop and the direction uh, it goes when the genuine ones, it always go to the same direction and the distance with the second loop is roughly always the same. When mine, it completely goes out the way. Um, so, again, this is how I think um, Beckett, aka, you know, CBCS, should have um, detected that it was a, in a forgery. Um, again, there might be other ways, and we're going to discuss this again uh, in the follow-up questions. So, was my signature, you know, amazing, a copy? I don't think so, still. I still don't think it was, like, a great signature. Alright, follow-up. Next question. Um, have I forged other signatures? No. Uh, I did not forge any other signatures. I... As I said, uh, this was purely an experiment uh, because I do own some slabs um, that are signed, but I bought them, you know, without any COA on eBay. And we're going to discuss this again in follow-up questions. Uh, but I bought those books on eBay, hoping that they were genuine. Um, I have no no proof of that, so I send them to CBCS. They come back verified. I hope they are. I have no guarantee they are, but I hope they are. Um, so yeah, no, I have not um, attempted to forge any other signatures. And in matter of fact, this was an experiment. It was a one-off. Um, I'm not gonna attempt similar experiments. Or I'm not gonna try to trick, you know, CDCS again. Um, I think I proved my point that the system is not um, reliable. So. Yeah, that's going to be it in terms of forging signatures. I'm going to do more experiments around other aspects of the grading, um, around the grading scale, around motorbike. I'm going to do other experiments with the grading companies, all of them. So if you are a CGC fan, sorry. If you're a PGX fan, sorry. If you're a CBCS or EGS fan, sorry. Um, but it's not going to be around the um, signature. It's going to be on other aspects of the books. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe. And in the following month, uh, I'll be releasing those results. Whether they are successful or not, I'll be releasing the results. 
Next question. Am I going to be in uh, legal trouble for releasing the video last week? With the law, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, honestly, I have no clue. I'm not a legal expert. Um, since there were no intent to, you know, sell this book or uh, trick, you know, and, uh, sell it on eBay, trick a, a legitimate collector. I I would hope it's it's fine, uh, but honestly, I have no clue. Um, I don't really know what happens. Like if you paint like Picasso at home and you keep your painting on your wall, is it forgery? Is it wrong? Um, I don't know. To be honest, I have no clue. Uh, so. For the people who want to see me in jail, wait and see. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Obviously, I did receive a few um, messages of very angry people. Um, funnily, mostly people who sell CBCS <laughs> slabs on the eBay stores or collectors who have a lot of CBCS um, slabs at home, you know, so... I can understand the frustration and, you know, there was no intent to, to harm uh, anyone, but, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, honestly, I don't know. I guess I was very careless. Um, I should have probably checked before releasing this sort of video. Um, I did not. It's done. I'll have to see what happens. Uh, we'll see. Um... So this is the next question is very interesting. Um, what should be the verification system like um, for it to be trustful? I've seen a lot of debates uh, on forums, on uh, Reddit, Facebook, and individually I've debated a lot with uh, people who uh, contacted me, and it's very interesting. Um, I think the signature verification service that CBCS offer is also uh, necessary. Um, it's necessary in a way that a lot of books are not necessarily directly witnessed by someone you know who works at CGC or at CBCS who can say I've witnessed, I've witnessed the signature, um, it's authentic. It can happen when you meet some, you know, some artist, some comic book writer in local in your local comic book store. Um, sometimes, you know, they, there's those events. You come, you bring your book, they sign it, you go back. Sometimes there's no witness, um, and you want, you know, um, to have it slabbed and to have said that you know you've seen uh, X Y Z at this moment and he signed your your book. Uh, so I think it makes sense to have that sort of service. I think it um, it does make sense to have a sort of service, but the bar uh, needs to be higher. It means what I mean here is I think the way um, the signatures are authenticated um, right now is just way too easy for forgeries to go through, um, like I did last week. So, what would I do to make this um, service more reliable? Well, multiple things. So, currently, um, you submit a signature, you have to say who you think it is or who it was. Um, so, right at that moment, when you know the, verifi Beckett, the guy who verifies the signature, um, receive your book, he knows who you expect it to be signed by. And I think that's already a bias. Um, that's already a bias in the verificator's um, mind. He's like, okay, the customer sent me this book, he says it's Stan Lee, I'm just gonna verify if it's Stan Lee. Actually, Stan Lee is a bad example because you can actually see Stan Lee. But 
Pichetti, like the one last week, you can't read her name. The name should be based on, you know, the verificator trying to find what is this signature about. Um, that would remove the bias. Um, I'm sure CBCS Ticket has have huge database of picture and we are in 2021. Don't tell me it's not possible to throw a book under a scan, detect the signature, search through a database of signatures, see what the commonality is and returns the most you know the most probable uh, signature. That's totally possible. Um, I work in I work in software, I work in, in engineering. Um, I know it's possible, you know, you can detect faces in the streets then. <laughs> uh, so obviously you can detect a signature on a book. So that's the first thing I think where um, it would be good to see a change here. The bias of saying who you think it was should be removed. Um, second thing is the COAs. So CBCS says um, do not send your COAs, do not attach them. They are worthless. Yes, I know. Um, they are worthless, but for a potential um, individual who's trying to forge a signature, it's still something more to forge. And so it's still more annoying for someone who wants to forge a signature to also for the signature plus he must so he must have you know good signature skills and good photoshop skills or things like this to forge the coa and i don't see what it costs to also attach the coa and most of the coas have locations uh date times of when it happened sometimes a number potentially they could see you know keep in this in their database that information when was it done? At what time? Uh, what is the number of the signature? You know, is it the number three hundred twenty-six out of a thousand? Um, and then if they receive another book that stays three hundred twenty-six, they know that it's not the same book. Um, so it's a first one of it is a forgery. Um, I think that would be, I don't see what it costs to add basically the COA. Uh, obviously that doesn't mean you have a COA, you have a legend signature, that's not the case. But again, you give more work and hard work to potential people who wants to go around the system and submit um, fake signatures. And the last thing um, is, I think we can do better. I think it would be in the benefits of any kind of company, CGC, CBTS, to find a way to authenticate a signature um, without a witness. And in our world, again, 2021, with the technology we have, I can easily imagine systems where you are at Comic Con or you are in your local comic shop and you get your signature done by, you know, your favorite artist and on top of returning you your book with um, its signature, um, you receive a token, um, something unique that once registered in a computer system, in a central database, retrace, you know, its authenticity, where it come from, uh, who signed it. Those kind of um, systems uh, do exist. Um, you probably heard of NFT, they do it for digital art. A signature in a book is not digital art, it's a real art, but the same kind of mechanism of non-fungible tokens can be transposed to real life. It's a bit complex, so I don't want to go into details about this, but really there's ways where you have your favorite Aussie sitting down, uh, he has an iPad next to you, and he does the signature, he, you know, press the button, you get a, get a, I don't know, a print of a to token or something, 
and that's it that's your own and that's unique to you and without this you would not be able to um, authentify the signature and you could send this part of the token to CBCS so they can ensure that it's valid that it's verified and you know it's fully authentic uh, that's a very high level um, I think like you know the future of uh, authenticity in um, the collectible market not only in the comic books to be honest uh, because we need that level of security we need that level of I know I've done this signature here um, it is legit I want it to be verified and slab um, so that's another idea and the next thing is I've seen some people sending me messages and pictures where they actually have videos of them being signed by you know Stanley or whoever and when sent uh, they get denied uh, sometimes pictures and they get denied and again um, a signature on the book is almost like a fingerprint like there's no none of your signatures are exactly identical um, the positioning of your signature is the same is never identical on the book so if you have a clear picture of signing signing your book you're running through a software who identifies the exact shape the exact position compare it with the book you sent I'm sure um, that gives you a level of um, authenticity that's like you know 99.9 percent um, so again I don't see why CBCS would not invest in doing such you know um, investment in their software if they want to be the only company doing this service um, instead of hiring more people to verify signature quickly uh, hire some engineers um, hire, hire some data scientists and believe me they will make it happen they will find a way to do it um, so that's just my thought on potentially the future of um, signing books sorry it was very long <laughs> all right um, the last question uh, the last thing I received is will I destroy my slab yes I will destroy the slab it will be the last part of the video so if you want to see me destroy or struggle to destroy because I struggle to do it um, the slab just you know skip to the end of the video you'll see the slab destroyed you'll be happy um, obviously I had no intent to do anything with that slab so it's destroyed and yeah that's that's that was one of the question I, I received okay so that was the most you know the main questions um, I have received over the last week um, again I want to say thank you to everyone who supported me it was like really weird to receive those, those kind messages or kind comments and things like this emails sometimes um, thank you again and what I want to say is um, I will give this back to you um, I will give this back to you by doing you know fun content interesting content um, something you know cool stuff and next video will be totally different um, I just want to say that this video just is the end of the CBCS signature topic I'm not gonna do a follow-up I'm not gonna do more videos about this topic um, this topic is now closed um, however if you want to discuss it with me shoot me an email um, I did create an Instagram now so you can contact me on Instagram um, add me send me a message I will reply to everyone who wants to you know discuss this topic I love uh, debates I love healthy debates um, I love how it's done uh, you know by, by people on, on social media and things and I think this is um, amazing for our community so don't hesitate to message me if you want to talk about it um, but this will be the last video about it um, I don't want to be a YouTube channel about this I want it to be a YouTube channel about comic book collecting in general and you know fun videos fun stuff um, as I said I will give it back to you but not only with videos um, surprisingly I don't understand how it's possible but 
more than more than 80 people subscribed uh, to my channel, which means um, it's more than I ever expected. Um, I will do a giveaway uh, when I reach 250 subscribers. So another 150 subscribers or so, and I will be sending two books to one of you guys. Uh, one of you guys. Two raw books, not slapped, not signed, um, to you anywhere in the world. So you can be in Japan, Canada, US, Germany, anywhere in the world. Um, if you subscribe and if you are in the top uh, 250 subscribers, I will uh, run a, you know, a giveaway, it will run a raffle, um, it will select you hopefully. And I will be sending you these two books. So the first one is the Mighty Avengers number one. The first appearance of Spectrum. You've seen her obviously in WandaVision. I hope we will see her in the MCU uh, in future movies. And yeah, it's a clean book. Um, there's a little corner crunch at the bottom left. But I'm right, sorry. So it's by no means a 9.8, but I think it's a cool book to have. Uh, so this is what will you get if you are selected one of the, you know, uh, 250 subscribers. And the second book, sorry, the second book. I'm tired. This video is long. Is the Journey to Mystery um, number 75. So this is a low grade. Um, this is you know. Um, Silver Age, and I just bought it just because it says uh, Mr. Gregory, and my name is Greg. You know, my name is Gregory. So um, this is just why I bought it. <laughs> I don't actually collect um, the gym run. So I thought, okay, um, since you've you know you've um, f you know you've encouraging me to to do those videos, I'll uh, give it back to you too. So yeah, here we go. Subscribe and share this video. That's it. Um, video of the destruction of the slab right now.